Hi everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight I'll be doing my tips for week one of the 2021 Betfred Super League Playoff Series. This one is also known as the Eliminators. There's two games to get through. We're at the business end of the Super League season, not too far away from the Grand Final. Let's start with the first Eliminator, which is kicking off on Thursday night, 7.45pm. Live from the DW Stadium, it's Wigan against Leeds. It sees Wigan, who finished the year in 4th place, up against Leeds in 5th place. Both sides have won 3 of their last 5 games. There's been 2 previous meetings between these sides throughout the year. Round 3, Wigan beat Leeds 9 points to 6. And then just a few weeks ago, Leeds beat Wigan 14-0. These two sides, when it comes to playoffs and when it comes to this time of the year, they're experts at it. In the past, Leeds have actually finished fifth two year in a row in the past and they've gone on to win the Premiership that year. So it doesn't really matter where Leeds finish on the table, they're still capable of winning the, uh, winning the Championship. And for Wigan, they're the most successful side in English Rugby League history. So... They're familiar with this time of year and looking at these two sides with their recent kind of form, Wigan had that really good win over Catalan Dragon just before the start of the playoffs and I watched the match against Leeds and Hull KR and I thought that Leeds were never really trolled in that game and they were they were quite good and both sides have set themselves up perfectly I think for this playoff series. For Leeds in particular, I think that there's a couple of players that could potentially decide this game. One of them's Cruz Leeming. I've been really impressed with him over the last month or so and throughout this year. I think he's um, one of Leeds' most important players. And for Wigan, you've got the likes of Zach Hardike. And this could potentially be Jackson Hastings last game and Oliver Gildart's last game. Both of them are signed for the West Tigers next year. So they'll be leaving at the end of the year, but hopefully they want to go out with the Premiership. For this match, I will go for the outsider. I will go for Leeds to win 1-12. I think it's going to be a very tight match. I think it's going to be a very good game to watch. I'll be watching it personally. So... Good luck to both teams, but I think Leeds are going to win on the Thursday night and end Wigan's season, and also Adrian Lamb's coaching career at Wigan. The second eliminator starts the following day, same time, 7.45pm on the Friday. It sees Warrington up against Hull Kingston Rovers, live from the Halliwell Jones Stadium in Warrington. It sees Warrington in third place up against Hull KR, who finished the year in sixth place. This is Hull Kiar's first playoffs appearance since 2013 when they went out in the first week there against St Helens. The last meeting between these two sides this year was back in round 5 where Warrington beat Hull Kingston Rovers 50 points to 26. Since then Hull Kiar have had a quite decent year. They've beaten Wigan twice, they've been competitive in most matches. Their form going into the final series though isn't particularly great. Um, they've lost to Wakefield Trinity. They've lost to Huddersfield. They beat Lee, who, I mean, that's now to really write home about. They beat Castleford, and then they were beaten pretty convincingly against Leeds, who finished just a place above them. Warrington have had a quite decent year themselves. and They did have the disappointment of not making the Challenge Cup final or winning that competition, but um, they've got George Williams, who's joined mid-season, and I think their form going into the finals is quite good and they're going to be looking to go one step further than they did last year. Last year they bowed out at this stage against the whole FC side that they were expected to beat. This is Steve Price's last year as Warrington head coach. He'll be leaving at the end of the year to return to Australia. So he'll be looking to take out Warrington on a high note. For this match though, I will go for Warrington to win. I think they'll be too strong for Hull Kingston Rovers. I'll go for Warrington to win by 13 plus over Hull KR on the Friday. 
So that's my tips for week one of this playoff series, the Eliminators. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the section below. Let me know who you're tipping. Of course, the two winners, the lowest ranked winner goes to play Catalan Dragons over in France. And the highest ranked winner goes to play St. Ellen's in the semi-final. Anyways, this is Rugby League History signing off. I'll catch us all later in the next video, which will be the North Queensland Review. Alright, tally bye now.